more. We did not hit our 30 minute limit, but that's okay. I'm not that worried about it. Um, Syracuse Orange. Dino Babers. 10 and 3 last year, 6 and 2. This was a complete turnaround. Six Love starters back on offense, seven on defense. Experience returning, number 59 in the country, number six in the conference. Their over under is seven and a half. Now, the opening juice was minus 140 for over, plus 120 to go under. Uh, Dino Babers, 18 and 19 in three years. Uh, he gets really Syracuse's most manageable schedule since 2013. They could get game day for the first time in week three when Clemson comes in. Um, there's no more Eric Dungy. Tommy DeVito is going to be the new quarterback. Where do Dungy's carries go? Because he ran the ball a ton last year. Uh, it might be screens. It might just be a regular power running game. It might be, you know, they'll figure out something. They were the number 11 scoring offense in the country in 2018. Dino figured it out. Figured yeah. it out. Uh, defensive line is absolutely loaded. Alton Robinson uh, is a beast. Free safety, Andre Sisco, tied for the nation lead in interceptions. He had seven last year. Kicker Andre Smith went from a walk-on to 30 out of 34 field goals, and he won the Groza Award as a walk-on redshirt freshman last year. This team is capable, because of the schedule, because of everything else, they are capable of winning 10 games again. Absolutely. Now, what is the ceiling beyond that? Or what, it, what, is, what can happen? Okay. I don't think you get much further than that. Oh, right? no, no, because no. they still don't have as much talent as some of these other teams but they have a coaching advantage that a lot of these other schools do not have. Now, will Tommy DeVito be able to run that offense? We'll see. It depends on what they try and do with the personnel that they've got because this year's team will be different compared to last year's. But that's where um, we trust coaching, right? Yes. Like, I don't, I'm don't. i okay. If I trust in a coach, I'm totally fine with betting on players I've never seen before. Yeah. Because I understand the types of kids that they recruit and the way that they coach them up. And, and what they do, it doesn't scare me when they lose guys. A little bit, my thoughts were on, on the Wolfpack with NC State. Same thing. Yeah. Like, I know, know they lost Dorn. a lot, but but I know they're going to replace them. They're not replacing them with true freshmen that have never stepped on the field. They've never coached them before. And they've only had, like, a couple of months of these kids. I, I trust – I think he's one of the best guys. I mean, there's a lot of coaches I fall in love with. Yeah. He, coach, he's a coach, really good coach. Coach Babers is really good – and they are putting a lot of money into this program. Um, Syracuse is really trying to step up. Hey, we're not just basketball school anymore. We're a football school, and we're here to stay. I think they're the second best team in this conference. Yeah, I. I mean, and you're I behind Clemson. Like that's nothing to sneeze at. No, it. The only sad thing is you're in the same division. You're in the same you. division as Clemson. Yeah. I, that, that I completely agree. So I got them ten and two. I've got them ten and two as well. I got a loss to Clemson. I got a loss at Florida State. Uh, but that, that's it. That second and loss could this, be anywhere. They, I was. But, I say, mean, listen, listen to the I road think schedule. if they beat Florida State, they 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 are a team that still makes mistakes. Right. They, they could still, still gets, lose somewhere. Gets else. beaten. So but, yeah. But listen, at Liberty, at Maryland, and then you got Clemson at home, so that's a loss. Uh, Western Michigan, Holy Cross, at NC State, who is. You know, but they're coming off a bye before NC State. That's right. Pitt at Florida State, Boston College at home, Pitt at home, uh, at Duke, at Louisville, and then Wake Forest at home. Like, the schedule sets up brilliantly for them. If something happens and Clemson gets to the brink at A&M, we talk about it, maybe an injury happens, maybe Trevor Lawrence goes down at A&M, something weird happens, they go into Clemson. They could win. And they come into Syracuse. Syracuse gets them. The question then is, is can Syracuse control their emotions, play the big favorite? Because I think at that point, they're favored in the rest of these games. Yeah. And and can they handle being favored in a schedule in which they should now realistically go undefeated? Like I don't, I'm not saying that's gonna happen. Okay? Now, what, what's Calm insane down. to me is the fact that the over under is seven and a half. Well, hang now, on, we're, we're gonna have an over unders uh, uh, episode. In when when we get to, so we were looking at our over unders, and I just did like a quick Google search. I want one place. I didn't shop lines. I said we're, I'm gonna pick one spot, and the first thing I found was just CBS did an article. CBS had them at five wins, and, and they pulled that from some casino. They pulled. Oh, you looked Fandle. at it, uh, Fanduels casino. And, and I'm thinking that that cannot be right. And the juice was high, but it was like 160. Like it wasn't 
insane. Yeah. Five. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's and crazy. I could be. We could be way off here. We. That, I'd be shocked if they went seven and five though. Oh, I would too. I mean, that. I that mean, the schedule sets up that brilliantly. Would fall, but it, I think it's better perception because guys look and see. Look where they lost at the running back. Look where they lost at the quarterback. The most important positions, and and for for this type of offense, and I just don't see those things because those guys weren't NFL stars anyway. It's not like not like yeah. they lost the first pick in the draft, man. This is not like Kentucky losing Josh Allen. No, no, like, a, this a, is just a different. transitional talent that that yeah. that oversees everything. Yeah, there's, I love there's, this team. I do too. And I well, I, and I love Dino Babers. So we both got them ten and two. Yes. I thought I was going to be crazy on that. No, no, no you I've made me them. feel a little sane. I, well, that's good. That's a, hopefully, we do that for each other. 